Hey, good morning. Christy Renee here from Mind Rewire and Christy Renee Healing Ministries. I am super excited today to be up and moving around. It's really beautiful here today. The sky is blue. The air smells fresh because we had a lot of rain the last couple of days. So really, really nice. Oh my goodness. People are driving like crazy today. What is going on? I'm still excited to be here. Um, I wanted to talk to you for a second about spirit. Your spirit, your higher self, your I am presence. And I want to show you a way that you can start to work with yourself in regards to this presence, in regards to your higher self, that will aid and fundamentally move you forward quicker if you catch what I'm about to say. So I listen to people all the time talking about themselves, their personal self, their physical self, and then talking about the spirit self, their spirit self, their I am, their higher self, their truth. I mean, there's all kinds of words for it, right? But there always seems to be this huge separation. There's this and there's that. My spirit protected me. My spirit guided me. My spirit, right, did this. My spirit did that. So from a physical place, talking about your spirit as if your physical attributes are real, and I hate the word real, but it's the only word I have right now. As if your spiritual, spirit, physical attributes are, are anything. If they are an illusion, if this is all an illusion, however you look at an illusion, right? We're creating this through hologram, you know, holographic kind of idea. And the water and energy that we're made of from, right, shoots the rainbow through the spectrum, the crystal, and this hologram appears. And this is what I decided to make. <laughs> I find that amusing. Um, but then there's this spirit side, right, that did all of this. If you, if you, 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 I am, you, can start to speak about yourself as you are the spirit instead of the physical thing. Both are here. Both are present. One is tangible. You can feel it, right? It smells, it sees, it hears, all of these things. But the other does too. We just weren't aware of it. So you have to start to switch your identity from this physical attribute, this physical thing, to that spiritual part of you. You have to start to switch your identity from this to that. Instead of it being that my spirit protected me or I was protected. I mean, it's hard to comprehend. It's hard to even come up with words for. And even in healing, people will say, well, I didn't do it. Spirit did it. Well, you are spirit. You protected yourself, right? You've given your, your inner self enough leeway and enough openness that all of a sudden the energy starts coming through and takes care of you in a way that you deserve to be taken care of, would take care of yourself, like use whatever phrase you want there. In that openness, in that space of open-heartedness, when, when the spirit can move, when you have realized yourself, when you have realized yourself, all of a sudden that beingness in you starts acting as the mind, it becomes the mind, it becomes the thinking apparatus instead of this, instead of the trained, programmed by whoever, whatever did any of this, instead of that, you become the higher mind. You start working as the higher mind. But we all know, we all know that thinking
thinking and feeling creates. So if you're pouring all of this love into self, into higher self, into the I am self, into your God self, into the higher presence, into the higher mind, whatever you call it, because I get into arguments with people about this stuff when we have difference in word choices. It doesn't matter what you call it. We're talking about the same thing. When that part of you becomes so realized, this other part takes a back seat. And that's just what it is. That's how, how it works. But if you keep thinking and feeling that it's separate from you, it will continue to be so. If you allow it to all of a sudden be the thing that is me, this is your, your programming will, it will just change out to the higher mind programming, which isn't programming, right? Now you've got thinking of, of all of the information of the cosmos. And it can be a little bit weird. Your brain is limited, so thinking through your heart's a little bit easier, a little bit more cosmic. You get a little bit more in for a lot more information. Yeah? But it all switches, right? I no longer think from the program that I was born in. So if you look at it from the idea of the subconscious mind, which was a concept that we were taught. It's not even real. We can use the word real. The subconscious mind is literally just like a recorder. It just records information and holds on to it, right? And what it really is, is the information that you've stored in your electromagnetic field because it stores information. And it's not like the subconscious mind. Nobody ever points at your brain and says, there's a subconscious mind. Oh, it's an iceberg floating in the ocean. And there's a little bit on top. That's your consciousness. And then this big, huge thing underneath, right? Just so you can kind of get an idea of how to understand it. It's your electromagnetic field. And the storage of all the information that gets locked into that field can get wiped out instantly the second you realize your higher self, your spirit and start walking in it. Start walking as that instead of walking around like this physical victim hurt body mentality. Oh, woe is me. I didn't get this. I didn't get that. <laughs> My son would say, fuck you. Right? All the things that we tend to throw on ourselves and other people. None of that exists here. It doesn't have to. You can be whatever you want to be in this place. And it's interesting when you really start to understand this. The subconscious mind was something that was taught to you. Just like the conscious mind was something that was taught to you. And we think the consciousness has something to do with us. Us who? Us what? Us the physical self and the, the brain part? Or us the spirit? Us the higher higher, the higher mind, yeah, higher consciousness. You choose, be one or the other. You don't want to be both because it will, it will confuse your system. You will get mixed messages through this system, this electromagnetic field that we live in. It's operated, right? The electromagneticism is operated by the program. Your electromagnetic body can be either. It can be operated by the program, which it has been probably your whole life. Or you can become this spirit part of you and allow that to take over. And it doesn't mean you have to get all woo-woo. and Like I've known people that have gotten spiritual and all of a sudden they talk different. They act different. And acting different is one thing. But the, the whole woo-woo, like, spacey weirdness that goes on, I'm like, ah. You know, and maybe that's your spirit, I guess. Maybe that's how that works. My spirit has gotten, this physical self has gotten, I, I see things so clearly. I mean, I just can't even explain it. But to sit there and be in this kind of woo-woo, weird state that's all, I don't know, to me it sounds whiny. I'm not judging don't, don't, don't get me wrong. You can still be you 
as this physical person with your spirit in charge. Does that make sense? You can still be you. Let the spirit take over. You're going to change the way you act and react for sure because it unplugs you from the program. And then you decide, who am I? How do I want to do this? And maybe you do want to be spacey and woo-woo. I don't know. I don't find it attractive. I think it's just kind of weird. Um, I probably shouldn't have said any of that. Those are my own thoughts. Please disregard anything that you find objectionable. Um, and I don't really care either way. Um, do what you want to with the information. My best advice would be to become yourself. Become your higher self and stay that always. Never do anything else. It's tough. It's a tough road. But I promise you, if you take it, if you do it, if you become that which you truly are, you will never want to be anything else. You just won't. All right. I hope this blesses you. I hope that you um, enjoy your day. I'm actually at a new grocery store over here by where I live. I don't know if you can see this. And they've got some kind of circus going on out front, so I thought I'd come down and check it out. Ooh, I was really close to the camera again. Check it out and see what's going on. Become yourself. Walk. So, like, you know, here's how I do this. Let me give you a little tutorial. So here's literally how I would do this. I go somewhere. I'm sitting in my son's truck, actually. Um, so I drove his truck. Let me put this thing in park before I forget. Um, and what I will do is I will sit here and get coherent. So I get into my heart space first. So it's the inhale, the exhale, the inhale, the exhale. So three times, right? And usually I'm not, if I'm not talking on here, I'm doing that the whole drive to wherever I'm going. Get into my heart space. I get into the place literally between past and future, right? So push it away. I push away the past. I push, push away the future. Now, typically we would say now we're in the present moment. Present moment is on the same timeline, past, present, future. It's all the same timeline. I don't go to the present moment. I call it now. Feel it. Feel the difference. You'll know the difference. That's all I can tell you is feel the difference between the present and now. So I go to the now moment. I'm still in my heart space and I just allow myself to feel now. And then I push away now. And then I let the flow happen. I let that come in. You can feel it, right? So your head, your heart, your gut are all in the same wavelength. Everything becomes the same feeling. And you'll notice I literally have to slow down the way I talk. I can't talk as quickly when I'm in this state. Um, maybe that's where the woo-woo and whatever I was talking about before comes from with some people. Maybe they're constantly in this state. I don't know. Huh. And then I, I breathe. I recognize myself as spirit. So I use the aya as sure aya. Look that up if you don't know what I'm talking about. I am that I am. Look it up in Aramaic. Aya, Asher, Aya. And I feel that it literally like wakes up your heart. It wakes up the spirit in your heart. And it pulls that forward. Aya, I am. And I breathe. And then I will get out of my car and I will start taking a walk. And as I'm walking, I keep my focus on my inner presence. I don't put my focus out here on what's going on. When you go to a place where there's a lot of people, that can get tough. But try it. It's mind-boggling how you will start to see people. It's actually quite beautiful. It's pretty amazing. So that's what I do. That's what I'm about to do is go for a walk out here and see what's going on at the new Lees in... I want to call this Greenwood Village, but that's not what it's called. Mountain Green. I keep Greenwood Village is Colorado, and we're in Utah. So Mountain Green um, just opened up this new grocery store, which I'm super excited about because our grocery store in Morgan sucks. It's yucky. It's really dirty. It's nasty. Um, but this is beautiful, so I'm super excited. All right. I hope that blesses you. Try that out. Drop a line below. Try it and then drop a line below. Or say you do it all the time. Tell me whatever you want to tell me. <laughs> 
I bless you. I thank you. I apologize if I judged anybody. I, I don't mean to. I forgive myself for judging. That doesn't follow me around. I love you, and I will talk to you again soon.